So, uh, how many years were you two married for? About four years. Around four and a half. Well then, do you think you can tell me about the time you first found out? Of course. This is for legal purposes after all. Well, it happened about two weeks ago. The 15th. I was just sitting in our kitchen reading when the phone rings. A policeman's on the other end. And he just spoke to me with this impassive voice as if this accident was just another $50 in his wallet. He said, Mrs. Monica Geller? Yes, this is she. I'm afraid that your husband has just passed in a head-on collision. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. And then? Nothing. I dropped the phone. I felt the whole world was caving in on me. Ah, all right. So you're saying you felt weak. Yes. Can you give me a few of his physical attributes? Yes. He was a bit over average height for his age. Slender, short brown hair. Anything else? No. Were there any signs that could have possibly foreshadowed the incident? No. Not that I recall. Nothing out of the ordinary? Alright, I'll be there in a sec. Yes, I love you too. Alright, I'll oh, oh, tell you. And make sure that I do. I'll see you later. Six? Seven. Well, there were times when I would come home and see him struggling to put away his cell phone. I'd ask him, Who was that? And he'd always say, Oh, just a friend from work. I'm sure it was nothing. It just always seemed suspicious. More suspicious than anything he's ever done. All right. Was there anything you didn't like about your husband? Excuse me? Anything that sort of irk to you about him? Certain behavior, weird patterns, anything that could be marketed as unusual. A great example. I've talked to too many widows who said their husband had a drinking problem. Straddling around the house, beating them. Yes. I hate hearing about that. Do you miss him? What? Do you miss him? Sometimes. <laughs>